Welcome to Orlando Attractions Magazine, The Christmas Show. This week, I check out Christmas at Universal Orlando and get an exclusive interview with The Grinch. And then we take a look at holidays at Disney and give you some last minute gift ideas. As always, we've got theme park news, travel tips, a new giveaway, and more coming at you. And it's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney items. Visit their showroom right here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our preferred travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of online discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other Orlando area attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to undercovertourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's special Christmas episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Jenny Lynn. You know, I can't believe we're finally here. It's our Christmas episode. We've had hot chocolate. We've got our festive outfits on. You got the red, I got the green. Yeah. I've got the Santa hat. We're going to give away some presents later oh. in the show. And we'll be rounding out our holiday coverage at the parks today. You know, I think I just explode with Christmas cheer. I am with you, really? believe it or not. Oh. <laughs> so we're finally in the Christmas mood. Finally, because Just it's six the appropriate days away. timing, you know? <laughs> I do feel like we've been celebrating for Christmas for about two months because uh, we have. But I am happy that the day has finally arrived. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, Merry Christmas. So what are your Christmas plans? Well, I am looking forward to our cr company Christmas party that will be coming yes. up at Fun Spot. It's going to be a lot of white lightning rides. Yes, we got to relive that. Mm -hmm. Good times. Yes, Good yes. Time. So what about you? What are your plans? Well, my, every Christmas I wake up, I go and I plop myself in front of the TV. Turn, watch yourself on turn, the Christmas parade. Turn off myself <laughs> on the Christmas parade. Turn it on and watch it. So you know, be sure to watch. Be, uh, I think it's going to be on 10 o'clock or Eastern Standard Time on ABC. But we're check your play, local listings. We're going to play a new game. Oh, it's not a new game. Oh, instead Spot, of where, wall, Where's Waldo, it's Where's Bank. Oh, this game's been going on for many <laughs> years. So you definitely want to tune in and see how many times you can spot me. That's awesome. Yes. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, hey, but you know, before we get to the news, let's uh, we got something else to do. Okay. Right okay. You were on the uh, Travel Channel, where well, you're going to be on the Travel Channel very soon. Our own little star of the small screen over here is going to be representing Attractions Magazine on the Travel Channel. What what can we expect to uh, see? When can we expect to see this? Well, I can't talk about things too much because we can't give any big reveals before they air on TV. Of course, of but course. yes, I did get the opportunity to make an appearance on the show Baggage Battles for the Travel Channel. Nice. I um I got to work with Mark Myers specifically. He was a great guy. It was a really good experience. The whole crew was wonderful. And um, that should be airing in next season, which could I think the next season starts maybe next January or February. Okay. I'm not sure when my particular episode is gonna show up right. in the middle of that season. They will let me know a little bit closer to that time. And we'll let you know when that's going to air as soon as we know. But for now, let's get to the news in the queue. We have a big announcement coming out of Universal Orlando. Eight new dining locations will be opening at CityWalk this coming year, providing diners with a range of new options. The new restaurants include the Cowfish, a unique dining experience combining sushi and burgers, the Burgushi. <laughs> that's that's what is the owners a, are saying. It's the Burgushi. This is the sign of the Burgushi. This is actually a new word that people are going to be using. Yeah. It's a burger infused with sushi. And I'll be waiting to see it pop up on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> also coming are Antojito's authentic Mexican food, the Hot Dog Hall of Fame, an Italian kitchen concept, Cold Stone Creamery, bread box handcrafted sandwiches, Menchie's frozen yogurt, and the Red Oven Pizza Bakery, which is already open. And very delicious. Unfortunately, Katie's Candy Company, Cigars, and TCBY will all be closing in a couple of weeks to make room for the new eateries. For more information, be sure to check our blog. This is something I think is definitely needed for City Walk. I, I felt that, you know, there's a lot of stuff to do at City Walk, but I felt it is kind of a, you know, 
old and bland. The, so it's getting revamped. Getting, getting a revamp, getting new restaurants in there, moving a few around. They're moving Starbucks to the front of City Walk, so it's the first thing you see when you walk in. It's perfect. Of course, I, Starbucks <laughs> yeah. again. Cold Stone is, is great. I love Cold Stone, and I think it's going to be a, a great, great revitalization for City Walk, and it's supposed to all be done by next summer. I have to say, I feel like Universal really steps it up when it comes to dining. The food is always good, Agreed. and their choices of eateries are always Well, awesome. the cowfish is a, is a great, it's great because the cow, cowfish was I'm just a- I'm a little bit nervous about this. Well, it was just a small little you know restaurant chain in North Carolina. They only had like two locations, and then the, one of the, people, the heads of Universal ate there and really loved it and said, hey, come to City Walk. We'll, we'd love to give you a location. And it's, just, it's kind of a cool little thing where you take a small business, just give them a, yes. a big venue. It's definitely a unique concept. We'll see how it flies. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Oh, well, cow. <laughs> when cows fly, yeah, right? right? And now on to some cute news. SeaWorld Orlando welcomes their first penguin chick to the Antarctica habitat. The king penguin chick marks the first penguin hatched at the new habitat. The nearly two week old chick is now weighing in at 30 ounces and is currently being raised by its parents with routine checkups from the SeaWorld's agricultural team. I think it's a avicultural Avi team. It's, 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 it's a hard word to say, avicultural what a, team. What a weird word, avicultural. <laughs> That's okay. their name. Guests may get a rare glimpse of the king chick during feedings when they're at the Antarctica exhibit. I've seen pictures. The, it's He's adorable. It's a little ball of, of like, like fluffiness. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Now, also coming out of SeaWorld this week, the Shamu Stadium at SeaWorld will be closing in early January for routine pool maintenance and will be down until April. While One Ocean and Dine with Shamu won't be available during that time, guests will be able to see an all new above and underwater show featuring interactions and sessions with the killer whales called Shamu Up Close. Guests will be able to see the new show from the Dine with Shamu area. This is always every. Every park has, you know, routine maintenance they have to do, and, you know, they have to clean the pools out sometimes. And, uh, but I'm excited to see this new little show, um, really get a behind-the-scenes look of how, the, how they treat the, you know, the killer whales and how they train them. Yeah, it'll definitely be an interesting and new experience. Yeah, You'll definitely learn, learn like some things. A, yeah, education's always good. Yes, it is. Moving on to Disney World, the mouse has debuted an all-new digital photo option called Memory Maker, replacing the former PhotoPass Plus service. With Memory Maker, guests can get unlimited digital downloads of their PhotoPass photos for 30 days after purchase. This includes photos from photographers all around the parks and resorts, at character meet and greets, certain dining locations, and all attractions that feature on-ride photos. Memory Maker can be purchased in person at the parks for $199, although purchasing online gives you a $50 discount, which is significant. Yes, it is very significant. Visit MyDisneyPhotoPass.com for more information. And you don't—you only have to purchase about three days in advance to get that $50 discount. So nice. once you purchase it, you have to wait three days, then you can start using them. I mean, I love uh, PhotoPass Plus. Yes, you do. You're like PhotoPass <laughs> Plus a maniac. And you know, that was only a two week period. Now with this being 30 days, you get a little more bang for your for your buck. It's the same price as PhotoPass uh, Plus was, so uh, you know you definitely get more out of that because it, it can be a, it is a bit tad expensive. I would really love to see them do an annual option like the other parks do, but maybe this is a step in the right direction. Yes, I agree. Finally, this week the Monster Jam will be returning to Orlando on January 25th and will be the last event held at the Citrus Bowl before its scheduled remodel. The Monster Jam is one of Orlando's largest single-day stadium attractions, bringing in crowds of over 60,000 people. The show features 16 different monster trucks, including perennial favorite Grave Digger, as they race, flip, jump, and cause general destruction <laughs> for the crowd's amusement. Sounds exciting. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster and the Amway Center box office. Have you ever been to a monster truck show? No. No, well, I did go to a monster rally truck mud thing when I was little, but I don't remember it very well. I remember being in a mud race. It was traumatic. I've never seen <laughs> one before. Maybe I might have to go out, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, hey guys, yeah. guys, an owl just dropped this off. Check it out. An owl just dropped this off? It looks Harry Potter-ish. Is it a Harry Potter owl? <laughs> I don't know. Read this. What's that say? Diagon Alley, London, no, England. This Potter related. The Bank of the Gringotts. Gringotts. What does, all right, what does this say? Gringotts Bank Vault number 722 is ready for you to open to reveal exciting news. Enclosed is your vault key. 
We invite you to visit GringottsVaultKey.com to access your vault. Oh, it's got a little... Be one of the first to view the vault's contents, then mark your calendar for a special live webcast hosted by Universal Orlando oh. Resort to announce all new details on the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley, opening summer 2014 at Universal Studios Florida. You will need your vault number to gain access to the website and to RSVP to watch the live webcast. What's happening right now? Look at this. Well, it certainly looks fancy, but what what is happening right now? This is uh, they're going to be doing a live webcast. Uh, what's what's the day they say it was? I think it was uh, January twenty third. Uh, is going to be a live webcast featuring one of the Phelps twins, who are the Weasley twins in the movie, talking about all the details about the Diagon Alley. Finally, going to reveal what's uh, what's going to be happening inside the walls of Diagon Alley in London and Gringotts. And this wow. is this is our key to get into our vault at Gringotts. Both of us, right? I'm not going to be left behind? No, you won't be left behind. Well, so we'll be looking forward to that, and I guess you all will be looking forward to that as well, because of course we'll be bringing it to you. Hello everyone, I'm James Phelps, and I'm very excited that soon I get to share with you some really great details about the all-new land at Universal Studios Florida, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley. Now in 2010, Universal Orlando opened the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade inside Islands of Adventure, and it's incredible. And next year, inside the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley, there'll be so much more for you to experience and explore in unimaginable ways. I can't reveal much more yet, unfortunately, but I really can't wait to share more details with you. So be sure to join me on the 23rd of January for a very special live webcast announcement and to get a sneak peek inside the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley. For this week's Hidden Mickey, don't forget the water parks. At Typhoon Lagoon, at Crush and Gusher, on the upper floor near the elevator, paint circles on the cement form a classic Mickey. Really cool image. Located just minutes from Orlando International Airport, Theme Park Connection offers a wide variety of pins, props, figurines, artwork, signs, decor, cast member exclusives, and other one-of-a-kind finds. Looking to sell your old collectibles? Theme Park Connection will buy them from you. Visit their brand new warehouse in Orlando or find them online at themeparkconnection.com. Universal is no slouch when it comes to holiday celebrations, and Christmas time is no exception. This time around, Ginny Lynn got her first taste of the sights and sounds, including Universal's adaptation of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I even scored an exclusive interview with the Grinch himself. Really? Huh, how'd you manage to do that? Oh, well, you know, I have my ways with big crazy guys who are obsessed with Christmas, wouldn't you say? Wait a minute. <laughs> The holidays are in full swing here at Universal Orlando, and we're gonna walk you through it today. We've got the Macy's Holiday Parade that we're gonna be bringing to you guys, as well as the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular. And we may get to even talk to the Grinch himself. We'll see how that goes. Please 
tell us, okay. what type of an experience is it when one's heart grows three sizes in one day? When, you, when your heart grows three sizes in one day? When it's like, <laughs> have you ever eaten a lot of food? Uh, yes. And you and you just you're like, uh, 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 uh. and all of a sudden you get that feeling right there, and you're like, I don't know what's going to happen right now, but it's not going to be good. It's just like that. have an all new little mini show with Happy Hippo that will be performed in the Hollywood area. Um, and we, for the first time ever, we're bringing the balloon out to actually dance with a group of dancers to the song I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. So that is one of the newest things that we're doing to, for the Macy's Holiday Parade, the whole entertainment package. We actually have an item in the parade every year that is part of Universal Studios. This year it was the Hippo. So the hippo was in the Macy's Parade with the, Spart the sponsorship partnership of Universal Studios Orlando, and it gives us an, uh, an opportunity to talk about the parade down here. Um, and yes, we'll do that. We'll continue doing that every year. There's going to be an element you can look at in the parade on Thanksgiving and maybe have a little nod and a wink that you might see it down here at Universal. Mr. Grinch. Uh-huh. You're such a sly one. Okay. What does a sly guy like you during your off time here at Universal Studios in uh -huh. between shows? Uh-huh, what do I do? Gotta do a little bit of stretching, okay? You no, know, you gotta really just get in there. Yeah, get it out. Yeah, you could do some, try this. It's real good. Just, yeah, there you go. Sometimes you just gotta get in there because you go in there and you go and you're like, hey, look, I'm gonna steal Christmas. Oh, no, just pull a hammy. There it goes right there, see? You can't do that. But you gotta stretch. That's the first thing. The second thing is you gotta, you see that? Just, it's always gotta be like this. That way people know when you're sitting there in a cave and you're looking down the who's, they're like, somebody's judging me right now. And I'm like, that's right, I'm judging you. you had one type of holiday message that you could send out into the world, what would that be? One type of holiday message. Hmm. Let's see here. Leave the Grinch alone! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! That's it. You can sing your little songs, you can do your little thing, but leave me alone! The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation. And the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. So, Jenny Lynn, are you finished with your holiday shopping? Are you kidding me? I'm almost done with next year's shopping. Seriously? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought not. Well, don't you worry, I've got you covered. I headed out to the Magic Kingdom very early one day last week to get some last minute Christmas gift ideas and more. From the big cheese himself? That's it good. Good morning from the Magic Kingdom. How often do you get to be at the Magic Kingdom at six in the morning? This is great. Now, with Christmas just six days away, we wanted to give you a little last minute gift ideas and what better person to uh, give you gift ideas than uh, Santa Goofy. How are you doing, Goofy? And we're going to talk about, you know, some of the uh, merchandise that are going to be in the parks that you can get, maybe even a cruise, uh, holidays around the world at Epcot. I'm excited. How about you, Goofy? You ready to go? 
Let's do this. So I'm here with Pilar, who is the brand manager for Disney Cruise Line. Talk a little bit about some last minute gifts for Christmas with it coming up next week. And a cruise would be the perfect gift, huh? It is the perfect gift. If you want really a, a memorable gift, something that you know your family is going to enjoy and remember forever, what a beautiful gift than the Disney Cruise Line. Really, you have everything for everyone in your family, whether you're a child, adult, a teenager. We have areas for everyone in the family with our new reimagined Disney Magic with all these new attractions that we have on board. What a memorable gift and if you're a Florida resident you're in luck because we are always having some residents and special rates for Florida residents so go check it out disneycruise.com look for the Florida resident tab you'll find great rates there all right so Christmas is coming up in just a mere six days so you know you got to get those last minute gift ideas and we've got Stephen Miller here from Disney to talk about some Disney gifts that you could possibly get for your family how are you doing Stephen I'm great Harry it's great to see you good again. to see you too and it's there's a, a lot of fun morning, stuff you know a out here for morning. this I, I mean you know well besides an annual pass being obviously a great holiday gift you know you can come out and enjoy the parks all year long I being in merchandise I have a few other options that I brought mm -hmm. along today uh, I know I just was shopping uh, just recently over the weekend uh, at Epcot World Showcase going around shopping 11 different countries but these are a few other items that we've created for Disney theme park merchandise that I think you're gonna love all right one of my favorite ones is the Magic Kingdom storybook this is a yes. new storybook just uh, just released written and illustrated by Walt Disney Imagineer Jason Grant mm -hmm. and it is gorgeous it has uh, 128 pages beautiful illustrations inside a really great story a great thing to read to the to the children I was seeing him posting that on, on, his, on his Twitter page and I've been really looking forward to seeing this book yeah, yeah another one of my favorites is the 2014 calendar uh, there's two different versions one for Walt Disney World one for Disneyland and the cool part about this is that they have these gorgeous attraction, attraction posters, posters. Of course, I opened my favorite attraction, the, <laughs> the Tropical Serenade. And the nice part is once the uh, year is done, you can separate these posters out and you can frame them. It becomes a really nice wall decorating That's uh, perfect. item. That's perfect. Put it in your entry hallway and make yeah. it look like you're walking into the park yourself. Exactly. Small World, speaking of attractions, mm -hmm. these are two Small World dolls. These are gorgeous. I mean, they're very detailed and they sing not only in English, but also their native language as well. Uh, there's also four different plush that go along with it, just okay. the same. And speaking of plush, we have Duffy the Disney Bear. Duffy, Duffy has two new outfits this year. Uh, we have a Santa Santa Claus outfit for the 17 inch bear, and then mm -hmm. we have this other costume that looks like an elf that comes with a smaller plush uh, like Mickey. of Mickey. That's cute, I love that. Mickey's also featured on our uh, Nutcracker this year. Now we've introduced a couple of other Nutcrackers last year, mm -hmm. uh, last July. Uh, this one here features Mickey on a horse. You're going to see more Nutcrackers coming in the, in the next year as well. They're just beautifully uh, detailed items. Yeah, my mom collects Nutcrackers, so this is definitely, uh, yeah, I we love found, that. There's a lot of uh, a lot of guests out there that do love the Nutcrackers, mm -hmm. so you know, and obviously a very traditional story and uh, just a really great holiday decorating item. Another great holiday decorating item is Finalmation. These here are ornaments you can hang on your tree as well as then we feature Mickey and Minnie ice skating. And we've also decked out uh, DTEC on demand. Um, you may have seen our DTEC on demand machine. This is a machine that prints out uh, cases uh, mm -hmm. right on demand. People can personalize, pick the art they like, as well as then personalize this. This is featured at the Disney Truck Shop. Now starting okay. on December 19th, uh, it's gonna be open every day from four to 11 at Downtown Disney West Side. And okay. you can pick out some great holiday stuff, including uh, things that were inspired by a certain castle that maybe is right behind us yep. Um, yep. here. <laughs> um, as well as, and we're featuring two new pieces of art for what's gonna become next year's Christmas art program. It's called oh, wow. The Holidays Are Swell and it's just kind of like mid-century. I mean the art is fantastic. I'm going to talk more about this on the Disney Parks vlog come January mm -hmm. but I think this is some of the best art we've done in, in oh. years. It's really really awesome. I love that. I it, love the ornaments and oh, yeah. it's just like a perfect Just wait background. you're gonna love it even more. <laughs> Magnets, uh, fridge magnets make for a great stocking stuffer. These, of course, were inspired by uh, Disney Parks food, uh, anywhere from turkey legs to the uh, famous Mickey ice cream bar here. But they are magnets. You can hang them right on your fridge. And the attention to detail is great because I, I look at the uh, the waffle here and it looks just like the just like waffle. Yeah, I it's wouldn't great. recommend eating that no, one. Though, no, so. no. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do have a waffle and you need to brush your teeth, this is another great stocking stuffer. Oh, These look. are two new uh, toothbrushes. It's something we've not really done before. Uh, <laughs> they have covers on them. They're Mickey and Minnie. You can take the cover off and brush your teeth with them. I love that. But there's some great holiday shopping. You can find a lot of these at Downtown Disney, at mm -hmm. World of Disney, Once Upon a Toy, uh, also in the parks at places like the Emporium at Magic Kingdom, uh, Mouse Gear, um, uh, Mickey's of Hollywood, other places like that. 
All right, so we moved over indoors to keep the birds away from this, this stuff here, but going from the gifts to some of the snacks that you can get that are holiday themed here, there's a nice selection here. Well, you know, yeah, and we actually have a Main Street Confectionery. These all came from that today. That's one of our show kitchen areas. Those are the onstage kitchens where you can watch customers make these on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And there's some beautiful holiday candied apples that they have, decorated like a snowman here. We have some great cake pops. This one's fun. Uh, this is an actual cake pop with all sorts of candy on it. Even oversized uh, Rice Krispie treats here that have been deck up, decked out for the holidays. And, you know, these are fun because, they're just, you know, if you're out here enjoying holidays around the world, you know, if you're out here enjoying Mickey's not uh, Very Merry Christmas Party, you can, you know, grab one of these bites and just get really get in the festive spirit. But these are fun. Uh, speaking of event, I really think it's kind of overlooked as holidays around the world. I mean, you've got Very Merry, you've got the Osborne lights, and you've got candlelight, but a lot of people seem to forget that there's stuff going on in every country that's uh, themed to their holiday celebrations. Uh, there are. In fact, I just did my uh, holiday shopping at, at Epcot. I seem like I live at Epcot. So <laughs> I was out there doing the holiday shopping. You know, it was fun because I had a chance to go through each one of the pavilions and check out all the different items they have. And you can really take home some unique gift items that are not found really anyplace else. Um, uh, and it really makes for a really nice, special, uh, personalized gift. And of course, Candlelight Processional. And that's, mm -hmm. you know, such an amazing, beautiful show. And you can hop into the American Adventure, Heritage Manor Gifts, and they have a whole new line of stuff. In fact, I, I got my sister, I hope she's not watching, I got my sister one of the items from there. Right. Um, it's a wine stopper um, that's uh, made from like an old, like, doorknob. And uh, they feature some really great uh, companies that are found in America that really make some handmade stuff. You got uh, bags that are made out of old sails. Um, they got some penny jewelry that are made from like, you know, pennies themselves. Mm -hmm. um, some really just great uh, soaps and lotions and blocks and just really some cool stuff. Uh, something that the American Adventure hasn't seen for a little bit. So I invite people to definitely check that out. We pirates will steal from you and your kin, but not around Christmas. That would be a sin. We wish you a pirate Christmas. We wish you a pirate Christmas. All right, so this whole segment, you know, we were talking about great gift ideas you can buy for your family, but I know some of y'all out there like maybe doing it yourself and making your own gifts. So I've got the Hollywood Public Works guys here. They know a few things about fixing stuff up and making stuff. So how are y'all doing today? Oh, we're doing we're great. We're doing great. Fantastic. Doing very well. Very so excited good. for Christmas. <laughs> it is. I know. It's the best time of the year, and y'all look very festive. I love Thank your you. get up here. As do you. Look at you oh, in yes. stripes and everything. Nice. Christmas yes. sweater going. And you showered. I know. Which is oh. so nice. Rare. I know. Yeah, I know he this smells is like pine trees. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not in smell vision but this is mm. much better than normal. Yes. It's really good. So do you have any good ideas of, of you know, what, what could we do for, for Christmas for our family? What kind of cool things could we get together? Hats. A hat, Sir, absolutely. Like Especially hats. the glow with the show ears that oh, we have right. now here at the four parks. No. Good idea. Absolutely. I like the very festive too. That's yeah, right. They, and the lights they they blink in in conjunction with like the fireworks that are going off. And like, Osborne over at the studio. Yeah, That's Osborne, fantastic. Fantasmic and the the castle projection yeah, show right celebrate the magic. So you're part of the and show. Holiday wishes. You're part of the show. You're helping yeah, us out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know what I'd like to do is I like to take Disney annual passes and sew them together into a nice sweater for my mm, grandmother. That's nice. It's so yeah. affordable yeah, that way. Yeah, it's really nice Especially that Especially with way. the monthly plan they have now. Oh, yeah. yeah. That whole monthly plan. So yeah. it's so affordable. You could just be given all year long. Yeah, like a down payment and then like as little as $19 a month. That's uh -huh. it. That's right. Oh, that's yeah. A deal. I, I do feel, I, I am wearing a sweater, but I do feel a bit underdressed compared to y'all. Do y'all have something that could maybe help festive me up here? All right. Let's see it. Okay. Okay. There we go. And we just decorate you here. Okay. There you go. Now just, okay. Oh, you know, let's just dangle these from the glass. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 very Perfect. Christmas. Think, Think Christmas, Christmas thoughts. Yeah. Think Christmas thoughts. There it is. Right very there. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, happy holidays. holidays. Yeah. All right, well, I hope everyone out there got some good gift ideas for Christmas. Mickey, Minnie, you know what you're going to get each other for Christmas? All right, you know, I believe, and I think you would agree, that the best gift for Christmas is to be with family. And I was very excited to find out this month that I'm going to be a father for the first time next year. So I really couldn't ask for a better gift this Christmas. I hope everyone out there has a very Merry Christmas.
Christmas time is a magical time at the theme parks, but Christmas week is also the busiest of the year. If you're going to be braving the attractions this holiday season, make sure that you've taken some time to plan ahead. First, you'll want to show up early. There's a maximum capacity for every theme park, and once that hits, they close the gates. Second, know which attractions you want to get your fast passes for and get those right away. With capacity crowds, the fast passes will disappear quickly. Next, expect long waits for most attractions. If you have little ones, be sure to bring plenty for them to do while standing in lines. And finally, don't forget the sunscreen and water. Chilly days can fool you into thinking that you're safe from the sun, but dehydration and sunburns are always a risk. If you stay safe and plan ahead, you'll be well on your way to an enjoyable Christmas and New Year's Eve in the parks. Are you heading to Orlando? Don't pay full price for your theme park admission tickets. Undercover Tourist ships the exact same tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Add on your car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park along with other insider tips and planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com and buy your tickets today. Now, I know we do this every week, but our giveaway feels a little more special this week. Because this is our Christmas episode? Yep. And I get to be Santa Banks. All right, Santa Banksy. Uh, shall we get to it? Ho, ho, ho. We shall. <laughs> Good, because our lucky winner of the Stitch Plush and Disney DVDs from last week is... Melissa Levitt, who said, love, love, love your show. Hope to see ice at the Gaylord Hotel one day. Congratulations, Melissa. Keep an eye on your YouTube inbox for a message from us. This week, we're giving you a chance to win this great prize package from Theme Park Connection. Of course, Christmas themed. Here we've got a Mickey, uh, it's actually Minnie Mini. Mouse. It's an ornament. It's, very, yeah. it's one of those like glass blown Very ornaments. vintage feel to it. We have another special little Disney artist ornament here. Mm -hmm. Pewter. And we have a really nice Disney Play comes with a certificate of authenticity as well. Fancy, fancy, schmancy. Mm -hmm. To enter, just subscribe to our channel on YouTube and post a comment below this episode. We'll choose one person at random from the comments. Only one comment per person, please. And you need to post it by the end of next Sunday, December 22nd, 2013. So, Jenny Lynn, this week in our shout outs, I want to say thank you to all our viewers. Hey. You already tried to get away with that once before. I know, I know, but this week I really do mean it. So many people offer their congratulations and well wishes for my upcoming baby, and it meant so much to me. Seriously, thank you guys so much. Aww, well, I would like to give a specific shout out okay. <laughs> to Fred Roy from Michigan, who came to Theme Park Connection to say hi to us. It was great meeting you. I'd also like to give a personal shout out to Andre Foster, who told us he just finished watching every single episode of Attractions, and he can now say, He's a true fan of the show. And we are duly impressed. And I will second that. Thanks so much for the support. And I also want to send out a few birthday shout outs. One to Carol Ansley from okay. Twitter. Her birthday's on the 21st. And also Auntie Marie. All right, Auntie Happy Marie. Happy birthday, girls. You know who you are. And I you know, actually want to get some personal family shout outs out there, too. I want to shout out to my mom, Sadie and granddad back home in Texas. Uh, my dad and Susan back in Arkansas. Have a very Merry Christmas. Wish I could be home to see you. And Merry Christmas to all of my beautiful children. Yes. Yes. And finally, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade theme park items. Visit the showroom here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. We are also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando's attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. And remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each and every week on YouTube, iTunes, and our brand new channel, 999 on Bright House Cable. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Also, don't forget attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week. And of course, the magazine itself. It's available in print on the Nook and in our new updated app. Our brand new winter issue is available now. Inside, you'll find great stories on the new Simpsons area at Universal, Disney Infinity, the Disney Magic Cruise Ship, and much, much more. So are you going to be sad now that the Christmas season is almost officially over? Of course. I mean, it is my favorite time of the year, and every year it's a little sad to have to take down that tree and the decorations in and, and March. But I know next year is going to be even more awesome with a little one to start spoiling. Just wait. 
You have no idea. So I've heard, but that's a whole Christmas away. For now, let's enjoy this one. Here, here. We'll see you again the day after Christmas. So until then, from all of us here at Attractions Magazine to all of you out there, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And of course, remember to visit your local Christmas attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have fun. Yeah? You're quite the sly one. Uh-huh. And I forgot my question. Tell me more about myself. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I remember what it was. Okay. We're going to start over again. I know. we got to relive those memories. <laughs> exactly. It was a good year. Mm-hmm. And, um... And then you're supposed to ask me about my Christmas plans. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to us. You can take the letter. I'll take this. Ew. Merry Christmas to all of my beautiful children. Yes. Yes. So... <laughs> I thought you were going to elaborate no. more. <laughs> no, that's all. Oh, okay. Merry Christmas, kids. Chilly days can fool you into thinking you're safe from sun. And darn it, not one take Jenny Lynn this week.